What is up guys? Look at this. I got this new light for my camera. I'm illuminated, but let's, that's not really important. So we'll get over that. Wow, though, it's so bright. <laughs> that's pretty dang cool. Would look cooler if I was tan, but I haven't caught any sun yet. It's been cloudy here in Florida. But regardless, today we are gonna make something I've never made before and I'm so excited. We are making seared tuna steaks. Yum, homemade, from scratch, dry rub, searing the tuna. I'm probably gonna have broccoli as the side because I have a bunch of broccoli in there. And I just went to the grocery store. So do you guys ever really, really, really need something for cooking and you just don't wanna go out again? You've already been out for the day, you were staying in, you just wanna cook, but you need something from the grocery store so bad that you know if you don't have it, it's not even gonna be worth cooking it. That's how I felt with soy sauce. So I just had to go to the grocery store. I got this wasabi powder, never tried that before, so that'll be interesting. I love wasabi. Sesame seed, that's not in the recipe, but I think that'll make an amazing little tradition. And then I got this soy sauce, this is the kind I like. So. We're gonna start cooking, start making the rub for the tuna. Let me show you the tuna. Just a wee little steak. I did not catch this tuna, but it's all good. I've eaten all the tuna that I've caught. But like I said, we're going fishing tomorrow, so maybe we'll catch something that we can eat. Okay, I'm using a pretty simple recipe that I actually found on YouTube. And I'm just gonna say it all to you guys so that you can follow along if you want. It's really simple. Salt paprika and black pepper go in the dry rub. That's literally it. One tablespoon black pepper, one teaspoon kosher salt, half teaspoon paprika. One tablespoon black pepper. Okay, there's that. Slowly making a mess. It's beautiful, let's mix it up. Okay, so that looks beautiful. Let's attempt this wasabi powder because it says to let it sit for like 15 minutes. Green horseradish should be mixed with a small amount of water into a paste. Let's stand for 15 minutes before serving. Hmm. I don't even know like how much to use of this wasabi powder because it doesn't tell you. Mmm. I forgot to mention I did say, well I forgot to do the sesame seeds. I did say I bought these even though they're not in the recipe because I think they'll be really good. You guys ever have raw sushi on the boat after you caught a sushi grade fish? Me and my cousin did once. We cut up the tuna right there. Lemon, lime, sesame seeds, sesame oil, and soy sauce on little potato chips. It was to die for. We ate the whole fish. Me, my cousin, and a couple other people in like 10 minutes. <laughs> it was so good. Ever since then, I've loved raw tuna. So this is the tuna. Let's get her ready. That heat up. Probably should have done that a minute ago. Oh, it looks so good. Edge of the tuna. And let's put it in the rub, shall we? Well, that looks delightful. I'm wearing a white shirt. I gotta be careful. Okay, so the pan's really, really hot already. So I'm gonna start searing. Let's see if I do have some tongs because that would make my life so much easier. Oh yes, we do. All right. Let's do this. Moment of truth. The video says just 15 seconds on each side, which is like nothing. Let's put some olive oil on here. It's grand old sound. You guys counting? One, two, three, four, okay, five. <laughs> you guys, 
here the sizzle. Sizzling good. We're going for that like rare on the inside. That's how you sear tuna. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm trying. Just two more sides left. One after the one I'm on. The ends can be tricky. Okay, I think she's all done. Let's get a really, really sharp knife and cut into it and check it out. I'm a little nervous. This was hard. <laughs> Well, luckily, even through traveling, I did check a bag and I brought my Tazzy Tiger knife with me. You guys have seen this before in all my cooking videos. The seasoning's really getting into me. Um, <coughs> lots of seasoning on that dry rub. Anyway, Tazzy Tiger Knives is a knife company out of Australia. This amazing fixed blade knife with the leather sheath with my discount code Bridget10 on Amazon, especially if you're a Prime member because you get fast free shipping, is under $50. Same with all their knives. They're either round 50 or under 50 with my discount code Bridget10. And I'll put the di direct link below for Amazon in case you guys want to check it out. I've been using this knife all summer and it holds an edge better than any knife I've ever owned in the past so that's why I brought it here to Florida and that's why I'm gonna use it to cut tuna because I hear tuna is very tricky to cut. Unfortunately um, I don't really know how to get my tuna in there with my tripod that kind of works. Should we cut it? I'm nervous. Dang. It's pretty dang good if you ask me. Let's check it out again. Yeah, I mean, it's super pink inside, but that's how it's supposed to be. I even cooked it a little more than they said. Let me get the wasabi and soy, soy sauce and let's try some. Oh, better not forget these. I went out when I really didn't want to go out to get them. This tuna? Almost said salmon. All right, guys, shall we try it? Wow. Wow. That is dangerously good. A little high on the seasonings, but that could have been my fault. I used the recipe, but maybe I really loaded it up too much. Wow. Oh my gosh. How can tuna be this good and it's so good for you? It's like one of the best fish for you. Do you guys like tuna? But also like, I'm really weird. I don't like, like tuna fish, like, packets and stuff like that. I just like tuna like this, like fresh tuna steaks. Raw. Wow. I think I did a pretty good job because that was bomb. The charriness of like the parts that were touching the pan with the seasoning is so good. Um, inside, you know, you don't want it to be cold and all that. Good. You guys have to try this. Um, you can buy tuna like frozen anywhere. I just bought a frozen tuna. It was pretty cheap. And it's so good. Well, guys, that was amazing. Uh, I ate probably about three quarters of the tuna. I still have to finish my broccoli, but it's kind of cooling down still. So I want to... <laughs> So I wanted to close out the video. Uh, definitely, let's see, things that we can learn from my experience. Use a little bit less seasoning, or maybe the recipe I used was calling for a bigger tuna steak or a couple tuna steaks, and I only used one. So that was probably my problem. I had to put the fan on because searing it at such high heat made it a little smoky in here, and it's like causing me to cough. But anyway. Overall, it was really, really good. I would just say less seasoning. Maybe have the pan a little less hot than I did too. I kind of had it on high heat. I think next time 
I would lower it a little bit just so that it doesn't cause so much tension and like charring with the seasonings but it's my first time searing anything you guys know me I cook wild game I use minimal seasonings I I really don't use like like things like that at all I've never seared anything I've just never had to I just cook pretty simple so that was something I've always wanted to try now I know I can do it I think next time I'll be able to do it even better which is awesome I think right now I need to go get the start of the show because Brookie hasn't said anything yet let me go find her What's that, Brooke? She's not so hard to find. She's either laying down downstairs or laying down upstairs. She smells so good. Her mom gave her a bath today. Do you smell tuna? Brookie actually loves tuna. She's not allowed to have it this way, though. All right, keep it nice. Keep it G, Brooke. There you go. She got really upset when I said you can't have the tuna. You have your own kitty tunas. So Brookie, um, lots of people call her chunky sometimes. And really she just had her winter coat. She's actually perfectly fit. She's not gonna like this. She's like perfectly fit. She's a pretty long cat. She doesn't have a pot belly. <laughs> She's perfect. But people have been calling her chunky lately and it was just her winter coat and now she's losing losing it since we're in Florida. So that's why I gave her a bath to help with that shedding and I can just tell that it's almost all off. It was really loose and it had like a lot of gray hair sticking out for the winter coat but now she's just straight soft fluff. You don't like your belly rub? Okay guys, <laughs> we're gonna end the video right there. Like I said, I am going fishing tomorrow, so wish me luck. I promise to be making more of these YouTube videos. Well, I'm making them every day, so I don't have a choice. I can promise you all I want, but I already promised you. I'm doing the Vlogmas. So this is the first ever Bridge and Brook the trailer cooks well in florida right trailer cooks i mean the florida cooks i can't it's hard to say that because trailer cooks it just goes the florida cooks welcome to the first one and this won't be the last thanks for watching guys comment below what you want to see me cook next we'll see you